J Jinx. Truck stop. So recently, I fell for a marketing gimmick. Smoky Mountain Knife Works had a special where if you order a Rough Rider product, they will give you a free carabiner. And my brain was like, free carabiner? Sign me up! And here we are. <laughs> In true Smoky Mountain Knife Works fashion, this package was supposed to arrive two days ago. And uh, it got delayed. And it got delayed, and that made me feel nostalgic for how much I miss their monthly packages. Because that always just seemed to happen that way. <laughs> I'm not mad. I expect it at this point. Um, but, gosh, I wish they would bring back that monthly package thing. And on that note, I'm going to bring back a knife from the package that I made. The Wasp. Uh, Sodbuster type thing. I don't remember what it's called. It's got a liner lock. It's a good knife. So, I put a Rough Rider knife into my shopping basket, and the free carabiner popped up, but I, I, I can't just order one knife. <laughs> That's like against the rules, right? So, I ordered another Rough Rider knife that I had been eyeing, and the number of free carabiners increased to two in my shopping basket. What? So, I don't remember how many ordered. Three, four, I can't, I can't remember. Uh, but Rough Rider knives are cheap. And um, they're pretty good for the price. Uh, three? Hmm, okay. I didn't order it that long ago. I already don't remember. <laughs> so I thought I would share my order with you. I want to look at these carabiners first. Um, wow, they look like junk. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. I, my brain literally was just like, well, uh, yeah, I gotta have that. It's free. Uh, and then I placed the order and I was like, wait, I'm trying to save money. Why did I just do that? <laughs> but isn't that the story behind every knife purchase these days? Uh, so these are branded Urban Gear. And, um... I'm looking for that little disclaimer you usually see on some of these, like, not for climbing. But I guess they probably don't need one, because that's just not going to hold anything uh, as far as climbing goes. Oh! Look at this! It's got a little knife blade in it. I didn't even know that. I literally didn't even look at what the carabiner was. Uh, I was just like, oh, I got three of them coming, I guess. Good. Uh, I didn't even know it had a knife in it. <laughs> Well, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, this I could see why they were giving these out for free. This does not scream quality. But it's... Uh, oh, this is a liner lock, actually. I just didn't get the lock engaged at first. How about that? Cool. Well, I'm going to start with the black box, because this one was actually a bit expensive for a Rough Rider. This is from the Reserve lineup. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Rough Rider Reserves, uh, these are select patterns that are made with higher quality materials, higher quality control, so the, this is like, you know, the good stuff, but it's more expensive. Um, generally between, I would say, like 30 and I don't know how much I've seen it go up to, like $80 maybe? I don't know. But I paid like 50 for this one. And one of the neat things about it is kind of like, uh, you know, GEC, for example, it comes in a can. <laughs> My first knife in a can. Now I've had a knife in a tube, but never a knife in a can. We got the nice red on black print, kind of makes it look like something out of a horror movie. And along the bottom, built by hand, backed for life. Okay. We got a little foam topper. Oh, that is dense foam. Hmm. 
Ah. Well, there's the can. Free candy. And the knife is wrapped in this nice uh, velvety looking cloth with a black rubber band. Huh. That's a really interesting looking rubber band. It, it, it's shiny. I'm loving everything about this. <laughs> so which model did I get? They have some kind of a uh, stockman on there with a, uh, it's got a bottle opener instead of like a, one of the smaller blades and uh, they got a trapper, they got all kinds of stuff. I opted for what I think was called, oh, we got more packaging, the Rhino Toe. <laughs> I was wrong, it's the Hippo Toe. <laughs> so. This kind of represents, in my mind, uh, an entire class of knives where they're, they're just huge and stout. Uh, at least, you know, their, their, their aspect ratio is just different. Ooh. The first one that I became familiar with was called the Sunfish, and then there was like the Elephant's Toe, and now they have like every animal's toe. <laughs> So this is the hippo toe. I'm pretty sure there is a rhino toe as well. Uh, so this one comes in a nice green micarta with an arrowhead shield. Uh, everything is very, very shiny and well polished. <laughs> yeah, look at that. This is case quality, folks. Now, if case were to sell something like this, it would be probably like 150 bucks. <laughs> um, it's just a, a lot of steel. So speaking of the steel, um, one of the upgrades, I guess, with the Rough Rider Reserve lineup is that they make all their blades in D2 steel rather than the uh, chromium vanadium steels. I like it a lot. There's a lot of little details I'm noticing. Um, you know, obviously I don't expect for there to be any gaps, but just look how tight that is. That is nice. There is kind of a lanyard hole, which is lined with like a brass barrel kind of a tube thing. I'm sure there's probably a word for it. Eyelet. Something like that. Uh, the blade is kind of an exaggerated uh, sheep's foot. Uh, yeah, it's got this, this nice change in the curvature right at the end. Uh, almost like a razel, but it's blunted here, so you can't scrape with it. But, yeah. I really look forward to playing with this knife. It's my first um, toe knife, I guess you could say. I would like to get my hands on a sunfish knife someday. I don't even know if they make those anymore. I don't remember what else I ordered, so this will be a surprise for us all. Oh, I, I remember now. <laughs> In one of the monthly packages, I got a t uh, imitation tortoise shell Rough Rider Lady Leg knife. Um, I didn't care too much for the knife, but I like the imitation tortoise shell handle material. Uh, so I got another one. It is called the Cub. And it's just a little itty bitty lockback knife. You know what's funny is I, I am on Smoking Mountain Knife Works um, Facebook page, or I guess I'm following them, if that's what the kids are saying these days. And just in the past week I've seen two other people buy this knife and show pictures of it. <laughs> one of the neat things about it, it's got a pretty unique shield. It's got that turtle shell. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like knives that have unique shields like that. And you got that, that rich, creamy looking caramel with black for the imitation shell. That looks fantastic. This isn't even a Rough Rider Reserve knife. <laughs> Ooh, got some gunk on it. Yeah, probably just some grease or something. That actually is really smooth. Impressively smooth. Oh, you just got a simple little drop point blade with the match strike uh, thumb destroyer. Yeah, fun little knife. I was actually thinking about putting together a collection of knives that are fifth pocket friendly. This would definitely be one of them. Now this one I truly don't remember. Truly. It might have been one I bought for my girlfriend. I don't, don't remember. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> well, she'll probably watch this and so it won't be a surprise, but that's okay. This one's for you, baby. The Reaper. <laughs> oh, check out the box art. Smoky and skeletony. 
tempted to edit this video and save this for a Halloween gift. But, well, the Reaper's out of the bag. Oh my goodness. That looks so much better than I thought it would in person. So what you're looking at is like the Grim Reaper's bony hand etched into an amber dyed colored um, bone. And you got that on both sides. And it's a hawkbill knife. So it's sort of um, yeah, re reminiscent of a scythe. It's scythe-esque. <laughs> uh, nice and shiny. This was actually really inexpensive. Yeah, so the cub was like 10 bucks. This was only like 15 bucks. I am so pleased with this purchase. Just for that handle art alone. That's the coolest thing ever. What is in this hole? Hmm. Got this thing from Wish.com for like a dollar. I use it all the time. Uh, you can pick the lint out of the phone charger uh, cavity. Uh, you can poke random things out of holes. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Hmm. Well, I think the Grim Reaper took a shit. A little one. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that on my background cloth to uh, spice it a little bit. Well, anyway, that was my purchase from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, inspired by these carabiners, which I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. <laughs> uh, urban gear. Hmm. This has been JJ Jinx. Truck stop!